This is more of a word problem. Data regarding the growth of a certain tree has shown that the tree grows to a height of 150 centimeters after one year. The data further reveals that during the next year, the height increases by 18 centimeters. In each successive year, the height increases by 8 ninths of the previous year's increase in height. The table below is a summary of the growth of the tree up to the end of the fourth year. Okay. <clears throat> so, in the first year, we see it grows 150 centimeters. So, obviously a plant grows very quickly in the initial stages, and after that it kind of slows down. But we see in the second year, which this case is actually where the confusion comes in. This, we are going to look at the growth, not from the beginning, but from the second year. This is going to be my first term, 18. My second term is 16. My third term is 14 and 2 ninths, and so forth. Okay, so let's just see that specific. Uh, does that give me at all a constant ratio? Well, let's see. T2 divided by 2, 1, 16 divided by 18 is 8 over 9. Okay, because 2 goes into 16 8 times and into 18 9 times. And these two. Let's just write it here, we've got more space. Six, uh, 14 and 2 thirds, uh, 2 ninths, is the same as, let's just put it as an improper fraction, 9 times 14 plus 2, 128 over 9. If we divide that by 16, So 128 divided by 9 divided by 16 gives me 128 divided by 16, 8 gives me 8 over 9. Okay, once again, I get a consistent <coughs> ratio. I apologize. Okay, determine the increase in height of the tree during the 17th year. Okay, so the increase in height during the 17th year. So, if in the 4th year it increases by that much, but that's our 3rd term, in the 17th year we're going to be looking at our 16th term. So the first question is actually ask us, asking us for T16. But before we get to T16, let's first get a general term, Tn. And this is definitely geometric because we have a constant ratio. And I see my first term is therefore, uh, in this case, what's my first term? 18. My constant ratio we found was 8 over 9 to the power n minus 1. So in the 17th year, we're looking at T16, because we don't count the first year's growth. Okay, only from the second year did we start counting growth. So in the 16th um, term would be my 17th year's growth. growth. And for that means I've got 18, and I'll just replace my N with a 16 minus 1. Okay, and once again, this is... This is must be calculated work. So we put in brackets 8 over 9 to the power of 15 times 18. And you get an answer of 3,075. Well, it's round. 0, 7, 6. 076. What were we measuring? We were measuring in centimeters. So, centimeters. That's question one. Question two. Sh calculate the height of the tree after 10 years. Okay. 
after 10 years, we know that it's in the first year it grew 150. Then, then we have to add the next 10 years of growth. Okay. So in other words, we must add the first year of growth, the second year of growth, the third, uh, third year of growth, etc., etc. So in other words, um, the height of the tree. So the height of is this a tree? I can't remember. The height of the tree after ten years is obviously. The first 150 plus its growth for 10 years. Okay, and I don't go and just add the 10th year's growth, I must add the first year's growth plus the second. Well, actually, this is the T1 is the second year's growth, T2 is the third year's growth, T3 is the fourth year's growth. So I must do this all the way up to T10. Which means I've actually got my first year's growth plus 10 years of added growth. I sum them all together so it's S10. Okay, which means it's 150 plus. And now if I add uh, S10, it's A, it's my first year's growth. A, there's just my formula 1 minus R, which is 8 over 9. Okay, to the power of N, which in this case is 10 divided by 1 minus 8 over 9 oh, no, 8 over 8, 8 over 9, otherwise the universe game is just there ok, let's see what we get well, the answer that I get is 150 plus, and when I simplify this, and please check on me, I'm, I'm often wrong a one, I'm going three decimal places, just, just being fun with okay. And that means I actually have 262,113 centimeters. Okay, so remember, 100 centimeters is a meter. So if we wanted to write in meters, let's see, did they ask us to write in meters? No, they didn't ask us. So let's not go anywhere else. So now they say that show that the tree will never reach a height of more than 312 centimeters. When is never? Never is at the end of infinity. Okay, so if we add up all the way to infinity, let's see how high this tree will go. So in other words, at the end of this tree's life, he would have grown 115 his first year. Plus, in, well not at the end of his life, at the end of uh, all time plus another infinitely many years of growth which means it's 150 centimeters in the first year plus this infinitely many, remember the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r that is an a okay. which means like the first term was 18 divided by 1 minus 8 over 9 Okay, which means it's 115 plus 18 over 1 minus 1 over 9 and it's once again one of those 150 plus a uh, tip at times business so 18 over 1 that is multiplied by 9 over 1 which means it's 150 plus 18 times 9 it's cheat okay 162 plus 162 gives us 312 centimeters. So if this tree was able to grow forever and ever, he will eventually reach 312 centimeters. Eventually reach that. Their question was show that the tree will never reach a height of more than that and of course it won't because even in forever if it had the time it would only reach 312 centimeters okay that was quite a mouthful and it's uh, often a, a challenge to do these questions but i am sure you are going to do great